We are here in the Dominican Republic. That's all I've got. Post it. <laughs> Me and my husband's birthdays are two days apart, so we always take a fun trip for our birthdays, and this year we decided to take it up a notch and learn a new sport. So we went to the Dominican Republic and learned how to kiteboard. Crazy enough, both our airport that we usually fly out of and the airport we wanted to fly into were closed, so we had to divert ourselves to other places, which was totally fine because I ended up going to a spot that I've always wanted to visit. I've wanted to go to Thermopolis Hot Springs for like eight years now, and we just happened to be going through town here. And so we got to stop on our way to the airport. Luckily there's showers, so that we will not smell like hot springs in the airplane. <laughs> And then once we got into the Dominican Republic, we flew into Santa Domingo instead of Puerto Plata. So that allowed us to drive throughout the country and see a few more places than we wouldn't have otherwise. driving from Las Serenas to Cabarete. Owen's driving right now, trying to avoid all the catastrophes that these roads offer. So we found this lagoon. We're the only people here right now, which is super sweet because these things can get really packed up. But it reminds me a lot of the snotes in Mexico. It's nice, it's a little chilly. Uh, nice place to jump in and cool off on your drive. So we've been in the Dominican Republic for, um, I guess this is our third day. I'm finally here at Kite Beach. Today's Owen's birthday, so we want to try some kiting on the beach. We've both never done it before, but it looks pretty fun. There's some people out there doing it now. Do you want to go kite surfing today? <laughs> Did that surprise you? We just learned... No. <laughs> <laughs> We just took our first kite surfing lesson for Owen's birthday. It's what he wanted the most. We weren't sure if we were gonna get out onto the board today for the first day. That was Owen's goal. We got into the water, which I think was pretty good for day one. We had a hard time figuring out what you could do in one day. And so I wanna describe our experience for the first time ever kite surfing. We're staying on Kite Beach right now in Cabarete. We went with a company right next to us. They have like different packages, like three, six, nine, ten hours or something. We just decided we wanted to see how much we could do in one day. So we said three hours. Both of us went with one instructor. Actually, there was two, I guess. Was the other guy an instructor? No, I think he's learning. Okay. He was an assistant. An assistant. Let's see, what did we do first? Do you remember? What was the first thing we did? Oh, we like didn't even do that first. Well, we learned how to set the kite up figured out how to, what the harness was, how to oh, yeah. escape. The first thing we learned was we put the harness on. I wore a long sleeve shirt because all of them were wearing long sleeves so that they don't burn and I didn't want to burn like right away. Put the harness on, we learned how to blow up the kite. There's four strings attached, so how to connect the four strings to the bar and whatever thing was named. We immediately got the kite up in the sky and then had to learn how to control it because the bar goes up and down and you control it by just doing this. There's actually not much strength needed to do anything. You just have to make sure that you're evenly using the bar correctly, which seems really easy when you watch people, but it's actually kind of difficult. Once we both got that down, then we had to learn to get make it go sideways. So like how a clock works, like nine to three, and keep it at 11 and one. Once we could control that enough, I think that's when he was gonna stop. Was he gonna stop then? But Owen wanted to keep going because he was determined to get in the water. So we then learned what to do if the kite falls in the water and how to get it back up. We went into the water and let Owen's making charcuterie for his birthday. So then we went in the water and you hold the kite 
at 11 and 1 and you let it drag you through the water. The wind wasn't strong enough really when we were doing it so they didn't want to have us do anything more than that so we stopped for the day and that took us three hours so that was a lot of learning in three hours and I feel like we went pretty fast. I think we're gonna go back out tomorrow as long or whenever the wind is good. He's gonna tell us when the wind is good enough because you need pretty high winds. Will get on a board? I guess I'll come back see how long it takes us to get up on the board. But we got in the water in three hours. So I'm counting that as a birthday success. Headed to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> downtown which was amazing even at one point they shut down all the lights we thought that the power went out but actually what they did was put on the music go shoddy it's your birthday and start blasting it over the speakers and brought him dessert which was so amazing so we're having a very slow morning this morning it's so nice having an Airbnb and being able to make breakfast. Our Airbnb is just a minute's walk from Kite Beach. So we're trying to chill out before having probably a rough day out there. We just finished day two of kiteboarding lessons. We went for another three hours today, a little over three hours, and now we are both burnt. If you can see it, my face feels so hot. Let's see, we did like a half hour, and then we were putting the kite up in the air, getting ready to go in the water, and then the wind died, so we had to wait. Apparently, when the wind changes direction, it dies before it changes direction. At least that's what my guy told me. After that, we went back in the water once the wind started up again, and we got dragged, because that's like the next step. You actually have to get dragged in the water. So we both got dragged down the beach in the water, which I'm sure looks really cool. They got out the boards. We did that for a really long time. We probably were only on the boards probably the last hour. They stuck Owen in the water with his board and just like let him go try into the abyss. And then they took me and had me start from the beach. <laughs> you haven't seen Owen since. <laughs> and then he's gone. Owen's gone. And we both struggled a little bit. Owen stood up for, what do you think your max was? Five seconds? Six. Six seconds. <laughs> Owen stood up for probably six seconds. I stood up for one second, maybe one and a half seconds. Eventually the wind kind of died down again, and so they had a stop. I don't know if it was the wind or they just thought we were done for the day, but we stopped after three hours. Uh, yesterday felt a lot more productive than today because I think we were learning from zero yesterday, and today we were. it felt like, oh, we would just get on a board and then pop right up but we did not. Anyway, tomorrow's my birthday. I think we're gonna go out again, see if we can get up. I don't want it to ruin my birthday though. I made some guacamole from a guy across the street from his avocado. We've got mango, and of course we've got the President Day beer. Thank you. Cheers. He's got his vacation mode on. Yes, I do. And so do I. Today is my birthday. And we are doing kite lessons day three. Although we are both now burnt and a little tired from being thrown in the water so many times yesterday. We went to breakfast on the motorbike. bike. It's a really cute spot called Vegamundo Cafe. Although it was kind of just filled with probably foreigners. And this is our second to last day in this Airbnb that we're staying at. And then we're moving to a different beach but we're getting our kiting in before we move down to the surf beach. So we just had some guac and some fun fruity drinks. And now we're gonna do happy hour over at this place down here. And we're staying at the place right behind me. This is right in front of us. I feel like it kind of looks like chaos and out of control, but apparently everybody's really in control except me. So it's luckily they can stay out of my way and it's been really fun. Okay, now I'm gonna go meet Owen for some drinks over at happy hour. We just finished day three of our kite lessons. 
which was all about being on the water and trying to go on the board a little bit of ways. I struggled a lot more than Owen did. He did pretty good. It's my birthday, so we are out here having mojitos now. We only did two hours today because it was enough. I was getting worked. Um, I had some struggles in between and got really frustrated, but I ended up getting up for like 15 seconds at the end, which was promising because, I mean, it's a lot of moving parts. It just had trouble figuring out how to stand up on the board and keep the kite like in the right position in the sky. Like a lot of things to think about at the same time. But Owen was going pretty fast out there. And so I think we both just need like a, a lot more hours to practice. Anyway, we are here at this cool kite place um, right on Kite Beach. watching a bunch of kiters do better than us. And we are now on to mojitos, so that's great. All right, so we are now staying at El Encuentro Surf Lodge. We wanted to get some surfing in on this trip as well as learn to kite. So now we're over at the surf beach. The surf beach is like two miles down the road from Kite Beach and Kite Beach is like two miles from Cabarete. So we just got a little bit further from town, but we wanted that feeling of just like a surfy experience, you know? And so we're staying in a surf lodge, super cute, modern, trendy, um, everything that I like in a spot. And I need to start getting some work done. When I take trips, uh, I try to mix the adventure with getting some work done. Most of my work is done on my iPad. Right now I'm working on some murals that I'm going to do after this trip. So I think I have like two weeks till I need to have these projects ready. Actually I need to have the mock-ups ready way before then. But I've been doing a lot of surfing and kiting and haven't fit it in. It's tough to do when you're here with like my husband and we're doing things all the time. So now that we are done learning, kiting, surfing, we just do in the mornings. I can now take the afternoons to do some drawing. It's perfect for this because this project that I'm doing after this is gonna be in Key West and the project is really based on tropical stuff. So the mock-up that I'm drawing today is based on tropical flowers and plants, which is perfect because I just walked around this area and took a bunch of pictures of all of the tropical plants and flowers. And now I'll make that into imagery. It's super chill days here at the surf beach. There's not a ton you can do this town. It's not really a town. It's just like a few eateries and this place that we're staying at, of course. And so I'm gonna go sit down by the pool and do some drawing. which is our final day of lessons with our kite school. Let's see, that gets us up to 10 hours of lessons. Day four was all on the water. They helped me out to start me. So I start in like waist deep water and then I'm supposed to now be going back and forth. So like go down hundred meters and then slowly fall and then come back hundred meters, slowly fall, go back and forth. But what I end up doing is usually just like going one way and then the current takes me to the other side. <laughs> and then finally, on my final one after, I think we did an hour and a half today, I was feeling really good about it. And then all of a sudden, I'm not sure what happened, but I lost sight of the kite and I flew through the air like 20 feet, <laughs> just like straight through the air, which was hilarious, but also um, freaky kind of. And then we stop for the day. Yeah, so now we have five hours of supervision is the next thing that we do. We don't have lessons anymore. So my consensus after four days of lessons is that it's um, a hard sport to learn, but probably once you feel good about controlling the kite in the water, it's not too bad after that. Um, I'm still not quite confident with that. But if you watch other people do it, they get up so easily and just go out and never let the kite fall. So it's very impressive. So it was fun. We're going to take a day off tomorrow, which is good because I need one. And maybe I can work on this tan that I have raccoon eyes. Going to breakfast. Beautiful day out again. They make us a breakfast here. And then we're going to go hiding today. 
I'm not gonna surf, because surfing and kiting is a little too much. We've done all of our lessons, so we're back here going to take the kites out for supervised time. We did 10 hours. 10 hours was $750 for two of us doing it with the same instructor. Surfing today, my ensemble. I'm taking a break because the kite just fell on me, and I've already gotten tangled up with Owen. Owen's out there crushing it. Um, it's just a little nerve wracking and hard to do too much at one time. I have to like steady my nerves. So that's where we are, and now I'll probably go back out. getting crushed on day five. <laughs> Out here. Ooh, that looks nice. This sport is difficult. I feel like I'm having a harder time than you, but you seem to be, maybe you're harder on yourself. I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's not for the faint of heart. You think you have it, you're going fine, and then all of a sudden you're face down in the water getting dragged upside down. Or like this. So, sometimes it's good, and then other times it's all bad. We are wrapped up today, out there, way out there, and our, our line's tangled. This is what I always imagine happening for all these people. And of course, somehow, between every single person out here, we got wrapped up together. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And then a kite fell on my head, and I guess we'll try again another day. All right, I want to give a quick rundown of what we're eating on vacation because it's always a hard thing to balance when you go somewhere like I'm here three weeks. So, do you eat out the whole time or? cook and we like to make it a good balance so that we're not cooking all the time we're also not spending a bunch of money eating out because actually eating out here adds up in our heads was like a 10 to 20 dollar meal yesterday and then it was 40 bucks so that money can go rather quickly if you don't really pay attention when there's breakfast at our place obviously we're eating breakfast here at the surf lodge there's breakfast made for us every day which is awesome previously we were at our own airbnb so we went out for breakfast every other day i mean even at home you can get such a good meal for a great price and i also like going out to breakfast personally i'm like a breakfast person so we do that, but I also love to cook. So I'm happy to cook breakfast anytime. For lunch, we rarely eat lunch because we're usually out doing activities all day, even back home. For me, like even if I'm working at home, I don't like to make a big lunch. Here, we've done guac every day. Like we will go, here, we get our fruit bowl. Fruit bowl right here. And we've got avos at um, the little market. This fruit guy sells them close to us. And then, I just made some so like I had some lime left some tomato and then like a little salt That's all I've been making. It's like the perfect midday snack and then for dinner we Maybe go out sometimes or else like here we're at the surf beach and there's not a ton of places to go out Sometimes like at the end of the day, we're like too lazy to go find somewhere to go eat. So it's been nice to occasionally make dinner by ourselves. We've only done it once so far. We made a, pot, a shrimp pasta the other night, but we got stuff to make um, a chicken fried rice tonight. A little bag of rice. This one was, yeah, this one was 60, um, which is like a dollar. So that's sweet. And then we got like a little olive oil. We got some chicken. And then we found these like sauce packets like a little chicken flavored one and um, some soy sauce so that 
Because, you know, like, when you go somewhere, I don't want to buy, like, all these condiments. That's why I kind of love Airbnb sometimes, because they usually have a lot of condiments. The last one didn't, but a lot of times they do. And then, of course... <laughs> The one. This one was four thirty-five, which is like nine dollars, eight or nine dollars. Um, and then we have a white, so uh, white with the chicken fried rice. We had a beer for our midday snack. This is one of their Bohemia. I think this is a Dominican, Dominican company. Like this place stocks you up, even though they have a restaurant on site. They like give you all of those to use, which is pretty sweet. down to the beach uh, I want to show you guys the surf area it's just a five minute walk from this place we're staying and there's quite a few more places to stay around here if you were to come from Cabarete then it's five ten minute drive but yeah we've been surfing here a couple mornings it's nice and chill the waves are small right now which is great for me I just get one of the big long boards and it's so fun to just go out there and catch a bunch of waves. You can tell there's not that many people here right now. The time to surf is early because it gets windy here. That's why we were kite surfing before. And the wind usually starts around noon. So it's probably pretty windy and nobody's really here. Oh, but we found this passion fruit vine in this tree yesterday. You can see these passions. Um, like right here. We only found one yellow one. They had to be yellow. That one is actually ripening in my bag, but very excited to find a tree. Oh, that one looks kind of yellow. I'll show you guys. This place is usually open. It's a little cafe. We went there the other day, and then the one behind me is where we've been renting boards. You can see all the boards. Somebody's getting a little surf lesson on the ground over there. It's just right here. It's where you get in. You can see all the waves. how much windier it got like just as I walk towards the beach and that is why nobody's surfing the waves are kind of blown out found this slack line I've never tried slack lining before so I guess I'll give it a go okay that slack lining experience was not even worth showing you guys it was so hard I need some tips or something like I didn't think it would be that hard I thought maybe I could sprint across it but I couldn't even take one step so I don't know. I don't know what the trick is. Maybe I'll have to go with somebody who actually knows what they're doing. There's like 10 cows surrounding me. Luckily, I grew up on a farm, so it is pretty hilarious. Let's go say hi to some. Hey, buddy. So Owen just went to the airport. He left today. We've been here together for like 10 days. And actually the last few days I've been fighting food poisoning, which is not a new thing for me. Almost every country I go to, I seem to get food poisoning. I'm very adventurous when I eat, but not like crazily. So I actually don't know why it continues to happen. This time I really tried to have the mindset of not gonna let it happen, but it did. And Owen had it a little bit too, so it was something we ate. Three day battle for me. I haven't been very energetic or felt like doing too much. And then Owen left today, so now I'm by myself. So I have to get on the recovery. It's still ski season for him, so he wants to go back home and get some skiing in. I actually have a project in Florida in, in 10 days. So I didn't want to go all the way back to the West Coast and then just fly East again. Um, it's raining in Jackson. And so I decided I just wanted to work here in the sunshine. And so he went back home. I'm staying for 10 days and then I'll fly straight to Florida. It's kind of weird. We've been together for 10 days here and now I got to do solo adventuring. So it's exciting, but also I'm not really looking forward to the dinner part. I don't really like doing dinners by myself. I think that's the time it gets kind of lonely. I'm excited to do activities, wake up and serve. I'm going to a new hotel right now and then find a bunch of cute cafes, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more.